All right. Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back with the next episode of Mass Effect 3. We're going to have some fun in this episode. Just want to make sure everything's up and running like it should be, which it is. Great. Go load game. Okay. Last episode, we uh, got the Quarians back to their home world, and we reunited them with the Geth. So in this episode, we're gonna have some fun, and it's gonna be at the Citadel. God, this takes forever to load sometimes, and I don't know why. I don't know why. There it is. All right. Go. Callie's in engineering. Where else would she be? Yeah, you got that right. Commander Williams said something about enjoying some downtime on the Citadel. Might be a nice break for both of you. I hear you were on the ground with the Reaper. He fired up at us a few times. Joker pulled the Normandy through some insane maneuvers to stay out of the line of fire. It's hard being in a fight like that, especially when you're not the one flying the ship. Joker's one of the best, though. At first I was nauseous, swinging around in my safety harness. But then I was furious. Just... Enraged. I wanted that thing dead. You didn't want the Reapers dead when they attacked Earth? I wanted them defeated. I wanted Earth saved. But I never wanted to physically tear them in half and watch them blow up. Congratulations, Trainer. I believe you've discovered your fight-or-flight instinct. Perhaps I should have stayed with Chess. Although now I think I'm spoiled by the lack of explosions. <laughs> All right. Hey, look! There's another Samantha Trainer. <laughs> Must be a doppelganger. That's just laziness on Bioware right there. Recycling the same character model. You know, the Quarians have done pretty well with those suits. Maybe they can make something like that for you. Yeah, they have. Protective medical exoskeleton. I could even get one with racing stripes. So what's the problem? It's like walking around in heavy armor and totally screws with my spatial awareness. I wear heavy armor, and my spatial awareness is perfect. Uh, you crashed the last shuttle, you flew Vega. <laughs> I need to feel my balance shift when I'm flying. I need to feel the ship moving with me. You take that away, and I don't know. I mean, I'm good, but I'm not me. Yeah, I get that. Plus, have you seen Tally? Come on, I don't have the hips to carry a suit like that. Gotta hand it to you, Commander. That's the first time I've seen someone end a war by yelling. I hoped that if Tally could see reason, then the rest of the Quarians might listen too. I had hoped my cooperation with Tally, along with Legions, would help her question her socialized prejudice. Yeah, kinda hard to dehumanize someone who's right there guarding your back. And now we've got two fleets for the price of one. We didn't lose anybody. Except Legion, before it sacrificed itself. Legion referred to itself as I instead of we. Yeah? So? The singular pronoun indicates Legion's independent personality had fully actualized. 
in its last moments. It was not an avatar of the Get Consensus. It was a person. That's what I figured. Well, when the Geth fleet helps us retake Earth, I guess we'll owe that to... him. Yes, we will. What's on your mind, Edie? I was just reflecting. The Quarian's historical era was not making the Geth enough like them. I'm not sure I understand. Units with networked intelligences will trend toward cooperation for mutual benefit. But units with central heuristics establishing an individual personality, such as myself, develop preferences. These preferences form attachments that keep my calculations from devaluing the worth of the lives aboard the Normandy. You're saying the Geth turned on the Quarians because they aren't individuals? That is my theory, but it is limited to a sample size of one society. The only other notable synthetic society is the Reapers, and we do not know if they govern by consensus as the Geth do. Do me a favor. Don't ask them. Okay. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. Thank you, trainer. Diana Allers wants to um get an interview. Um Ron sent us a progress report saying while well, the Geth are actually helping us and take care of Tally for us. And Tally wants to talk and engineering like I thought. Sally. I'm like, where the hell is Sally? Can't be. No. I guess that's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry. Uh, from Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I, I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are... helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore? It doesn't seem possible, but... Yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them. The suits have become part of our society. But a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Rannoch, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you. No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. Okay. So Tally's jizz in her pants that since we saved the Geth, they're helping the uh, Quarians. I'm thinking we have some upgrades for Glyph. I'm, if I remember right, we have two of them. Wouldn't hurt to talk to Tally, or not Tally, but Liara. Another Reaper gone, and peace between the Geth and Quarians. It's amazing. And now my people have a world to fight for. 
Something they know will last forever. So long as you and the Geth remain good neighbors. They're not our servants anymore. I'm not sure what we should call them. Allies? Friends? There's still too many wounds on either side. But maybe one day. The Migrant Fleet and the Geth warships have joined Admiral Hackett. Nope, we don't. I thought we did, but we don't. Okay. An email from probably two of the sergeants from the Quarian fleets. <laughs> I thought I had upgrades. I guess I don't. Okay. We're going to talk to Diana. Trainer, can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to talk to me. She's on her way, Commander. I'm sure you've got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's see how you do with the top 10. Commander. The last time most of us heard about Geth, they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies, and no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? What you have to realize is that despite their reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. And the Quarians attacked them. The Geth fought back in self-defense just like any organic would. Now that we've freed the Geth from Reaper control, they'll want payback for their enslavement. But you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? The Geth are extremely intelligent, and they put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not going to turn again. I bet my life on it. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed... Uh. So did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You gonna go file your story now? Well, if you don't mind. Go tell the galaxy what we've done. They could use some good news. Aye aye, Commander. Okay, now we're going to go to the Citadel. Now that we got Rannock dealt with, now we can head on back to the Citadel. We're going to actually do the apartment DLC. What's this? Fuel reactors. Well, actually, we'll do the fuel reactors first, and then we'll do the apartment. I forgot about that. And then seven. Um, mission right here. We may as well do that. Do this first. How we on fuel? There we go. We are going to check this nebula out and see what all we can find. I found something. The rings of a loon, that's one thing we were looking for. Here's another planet, and I know there's wreckage somewhere we need to find. Credits, I'll take those credits. Hell yeah. There it is. We found it. We found it. All right.
Always do your optional galaxies first. If I get caught by the Reapers here, it's not that big a deal. It just gives me an advantage. Go to the Ancients. There it is. I found it. Reapers eluded. I found it. Give me that. Not much, but we'll still take it. Faster than light jump successful. Sayonara, suckers. I found something. The Sarah's guard. All right, we'll take them. There's the wreckage. Dinara, suckers. I'm assuming it's right here. No. And is it here? It's right there. All right. Ooh, a sniper unit. The Armali sniper unit. Then I assume we've got wreckage. Somewhere. There it is. Okay. Reapers eluded. Dianara, suckers. I found something. There it is. A doctor, Dr. Jalees, or whatever. And that's all we needed. There we go. Now we're going to deal with the tool reactors. Probably an asset for us. We haven't brought out Edie in a while. She does power damage. You do power damage. You do shields. Ah, fuck it. We'll do gears. Do damage for you. Recharge speed. Troop station there. Unknown, but no fuel means no fleet presence in this theater. The enemy will operate unchecked. I need you to get in there, find out what's going on, and get those reactors back online. Captain Riley's on site doing preliminary recon. 
Sheely's one of our top engineering teams. We'll get to the bottom of this, Admiral. Good, hack it out. Let me get warp ammo. How long have you served in this outfit, Corporal? Three tours. Been through thick and thicker. The captain. Carry on. We need a radiation workaround, soldier. On it, ma'am. Captain Riley? Commander, it's an honor. Commander, Captain Riley has me scanning the facility. It's a dual reactor system, so you'll have to break up into two teams. Roger that. The fuel rods for both reactors need to be unlocked before we can initiate a restart. Your route is blocked. Captain Riley's man is working to clear the obstacles. Understood, Lieutenant. Got it, Captain. Good work, Coslow. I'll take it from here. Ready your team to hit reactor two, Captain. Got it. We'll cover you till you're clear. According to the station logs, there were 107 Turians on the station when it went dark. That just makes me angrier. Just stay sharp, people. Yeah, see, I didn't think we went down there. <sighs> I hate this mission. Probably as much as I hate fucking Rannoch. Because I don't know where to fucking go. I, I just don't. And I, I hate it. I hate it so much. This is what we do. Okay. I have a visual on the fuel rod control, but radiation is blocking access. Same situation here. I'll find a way to vent the area. This looks like ventilation control. Radiation clearing. Console now accessible. Let's unlock those fuel rods.
power stabilized. Reactivation can go ahead. Riley, you in position? Affirmative. Awaiting your word. Possible. Initiating restart. Commander, Captain, I'm reading a lot of movement. Headed your way. Incoming! Progress. Round two. Here we go! Hi, you old fuckers. Shepard! Stop! Reactor fully powered and operational, Commander. Commander, you saved our asses. My team is in your debt. Job well done. Report back to the shuttles. All right, we got that done. Good work down there, Shepard. Without that depot, the entire theater would be at risk. What are the odds the Reapers will be back? I'm allocating a task force to maintain and defend the facility. If the Reapers come back, we'll be ready. I read Captain Raleigh's report. It says she and her team wouldn't have made it without you. I'm glad I could help. I'll keep you posted on new developments. Hack it out. Okay. Now we can go to the Citadel. I promise we're going to the Citadel. We're going to do the apartment DLC now. It's That's the funnest DLC, I think. You get something really cool for doing it, too. Personal apartment, that's where we're going.
Commander, I've got Admiral Anderson on the QEC. Patching him through to you now. Shepard. Admiral, how are you holding up? Day by day, Commander. Yeah. Hackett sent me a message about this apartment. I want you to have it. Take it off my hands. Are you serious? You need a place that's yours. Somewhere to recharge. Clear your head. Kaylee wanted us to settle down there. Thing is, the longer I'm on Earth, the less I want to leave. And I want as few loose ends out there as possible. Like I said, you'd be doing me a favor. That's very generous. It's practical. We need you in the best shape possible. Rested. Focused. If you say so. Thank you. And make yourself at home, dammit. It's yours now. I'm sure I can manage. Okay, good. Been meaning to do that for a while. I'll talk to you soon. Be careful out there, Anderson. You too, Shepard. Okay, so now we explore the apartment. This is a nice place. The Normandy? A brand new ship. My ship. You don't forget that moment. The first time you're standing there. The whole crew looking to you for direction. Unforgettable. You have received I've led message. men and women before that. Seen a lot of combat already. Always managed to find my way home in one piece. Do that a few times, you begin to think you know better than the next guy. Maybe you do, I don't know. But if you're lucky, really lucky, you find yourself on a good ship, in front of a good crew. A crew you can trust with your life. Gifted. Disciplined. Brave. All of them, eager to set sail into the endless black ocean. I still remember my exo asking, what my orders were. Shepard, I said. Let's see what we can find. In the first game, we uh, were on the shakedown mission. Shepard was the XO. Embarrassing moment? I've got more of those than anyone will ever know. Only way to learn something. But if I had to pick one to share... I had just gotten promoted to N7. Full of myself. King of the castle. Found myself buying drinks for undesirables in some rundown bar in the wards. They... toasted my recent promotion. Hell, they would have toasted Batarian slavers if it had got them more drinks. About the time my money ran out, my new friends turned on me. I was outnumbered. Things didn't look good. My plan to get out of there involved lots of punching. Well, that worked for a while. Then a table hit me. Or I fell down. When I came to, I saw a Salarian putting the rest of the troublemakers down. A Salarian? Yeah. Like a damn cat, I swear. When everybody was out cold, or running, he walked over and helped me up. N7, he asked. Yes, sir, I replied. He looked over my collection of unconscious friends, nodding. Not bad, human, he said. Then he walked away. I had met my first specter. Learned an important lesson that day. No matter how good you think you are, there's always somebody quicker, faster, and a hell of a lot smarter than you just around the corner. That little lesson's kept me alive more than once since then. Okay, it's driving me nuts. What's over here? Are these... Oh, it's... Is that... Sinks? I don't know. Shepard has a bar in his apartment. Anderson must have been a drunk. But look at the modern artwork that he had, too. That's, that's pretty cool. A king-size bedroom in here. With a bathroom, a shitter behind glass. I mean, I wouldn't like that in a whirlpool. And here's your armor, weapons bench, 
extra pillows. I don't know why, but okay. More cushion for the pushing, I guess. I don't know. The Turians. Hmm. Well, I might not always see eye to eye with the politics and the individual, but I have a great respect for the Turian military. Any Alliance soldier lucky enough to take part in their training programs will certainly be better for it. Their precision, skill, and discipline come together in a way that's second to none. Not that I'm faulting our own people or training. It's just that after fighting Torians in the first contact war, years later, I had the opportunity to observe and train on Palavan. It was a turning point for me. And I would encourage any soldier to try it. It's a unique experience to put yourself in the squad of a Turian commander. My commander was an uncompromising bastard named Bartox Oryx. If you can find him, just ask how the platoon I commanded was trounced in his strategy game. Humbly. But I've used what I learned that day many times. The xenophobes will have their say. But I think it's vital that we do more of this kind of cross-species training. There you go. <laughs> and if you do find General Oryx, let me know. I owe you money. Okay. You would think with an apartment this freaking advanced, there wouldn't be vents on the freaking floor like that. Air vents. Here's another um, bedroom. Don't know why there's a second bedroom, but okay. Well, this one with a shower. And a chair. Don't know why the hell there's a chair there. And a little desk here. You asked me to talk about the SSV Normandy. The Normandy SR-1. As commander of the Tokyo, I was consulted on the Normandy's design and on board for her initial training exercises. The average person probably doesn't know that the Normandy was a joint project with the Torians. Acting CEO Eli Zander was no diplomat. She ran out of patience with Torian posturing and politicking during construction. The chief architect of the Drive Corps, Octavio Tatum, and his team of Torian engineers were in the CIC for final training exercises. Tempers flared when Xander pushed the limits of the stealth system, waiting to vent the IES well past what Tatum was comfortable with. I tried to calm the situation, but it still ended with the Torian scientist in shackles and a human Torian fistfight at Cora's den later. Funny now, when I first laid eyes on the Normandy, she was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. Day after that training run, Admiral Wright found me on the bridge. She's yours, he said. Can't trust her to Xander. Send me a list of crew from the Tokyo you'd like, and prep for your first mission. Short command, thanks to Saren. Still, one of the highlights of a long career. All right. I like these like tree things. What? Uh, yeah, they're trees. That's what they are. I, I do like that. That's pretty cool. I don't know how they grow, but they do. Um, a third bedroom right here. Okay. I have your new questions here. As a leader. Do I ever feel that the end justify the means? Spirit of law over word of law. I'm not going to touch that with a ten-foot pole, but I think I know what you're after. You're referring to the way I, um, arranged to have the Normandy released to Commander Shepard before the Battle of the Citadel. I'm not sure how valuable hindsight is to the military. Obviously, it worked out for the best. Without the Normandy and Commander Shepard free to do what they needed to do, what we needed them to do, Saren might have taken the Citadel. I think it's clear what a different galaxy this would be if that had happened. I did what I had to. If I had been wrong, I would have gladly accepted the repercussions. The real trick is... never being wrong. <laughs> if you're looking for more action and less philosophy in these notes, let me know. Okay. Another bat or Closet, it looks like, here. Punching bag, a... Uh... Um, chin-up bar. 
here's a kitchen area here. I would assume a little dining room or something. I like the waterfall. That'd be something I would want. And then here's another little bar area. A few months ago, I had a chance to sit down with one of Earth's most decorated soldiers, Admiral David Anderson. He was kind enough to answer my questions and talk about his career. Today, the Admiral is on Earth leading the defense of our home against the Reapers. We have no communication with him or any soldiers on Earth, but we can't forget what they're doing for us. Tonight's show is dedicated to all of the soldiers out there, fighting and dying to keep us safe. Admiral Anderson, today marks the 30th anniversary of the N7 program. Can you describe your first day of training in this now famous program? The Interplanetary Combatives Training Program is all business from day one. How so? We're given basic gear, then separated and stranded on an asteroid with no nav data. The test ends when the last person runs out of oxygen. Sounds daunting. What happens to the ones who run out of air first? Out of the program. The best N7s can survive alone, but work together to survive even longer. Oh, that's very impressive, Admiral. Deep space survival training. Oh, that has to be... Uh, so difficult. All of it would take such strength of character. Well, just plain strength. But then, you seem like a strong person. I'm sorry. Is there a question in there? Uh, well, does the program make the man? Or do you think you were born for this? It's a bit of both, I suppose. Every soldier reaches a point in their career sometimes more than once. When they are asked to give more than they ever thought they could, that moment is the test. I've seen men and women, almost sure to fail, persevere long past the point of breaking. That experience changes them. Others, with all the gifts and abilities, fail in that moment. Sometimes they pick themselves up and carry on. Sometimes they're just done. What about you? What was your moment? I've had a few. None of which I'd like to share. But... Uh, I think the toughest tests are still ahead of me. What makes you say that? Call it a hunch. Soldier's intuition? Something like that. Do you trust your intuition? I mean... Do you follow your heart over your mind? <sighs> well... <laughs> it depends on the day. No, I... I suppose if I were to be honest, I do trust my instincts. The problem is... War isn't orderly. And the enemy is never predictable. Even the most experienced veteran... ...is going to find themselves in situations they haven't trained for. In those instances... ...and there's more than I'd like to admit. Your instincts... ...are the only thing keeping you alive. That... ...and the men and women you're fighting beside. But soldiers are only as good as their leader, isn't that true? Yeah. A good leader can make an okay squad great. A bad leader... ...well... ...war tends to make examples of them. What makes a good leader, then? Hmm. A good leader is someone who values the life of his men... ...over the success of the mission... ...but understands that sometimes... The cost of failing a mission is higher than the cost of losing those men. That's a terrible line to have to walk. Yes, it is. But war is a terrible thing. Thank you for your time, Admiral. Thank you. The remainder of this interview was to take a more personal look at Admiral Anderson's life. It wasn't finished when the Reapers invaded. We can only hope that the Admiral and the soldiers under his command survive to tell us the rest of their stories. I'm Kalisa Algelani. Thank you for watching. Okay. I thought oh, there's one more. No, no, it's fine. I got a few minutes. First contact war? Yeah. I was there. My first real combat. First for a lot of us. 
I remember one night early in the war. Strapped to my seat as our transport approached the LZ. Everyone was dead silent. Just the sound of breathing. Good men. I trained with all of them. We were always joking and horsing around, but not this time. Just the rattle of the shuttle. And that heavy breathing. Everyone was thinking the same thing. We're off to fight alien invaders. Aliens? Think about that. We all grew up wondering what was out there. If we were alone in the universe. Now we knew. We weren't alone. And we were in trouble. So there we were. About to face an enemy as different and unknown as we could imagine. I knew I had to say something, keep the men relaxed. So I turned to the soldier beside me, Hendrix, I think, and asked him how his mother was doing. Fine, he said. Why? Because I heard your mama so ugly the Marines thought she was a Tory. Almost shot her. <laughs> I got a few smiles. Then Hendrix turned to me and said, Hell, Anderson, I heard it was a picture of your mama that started this goddamn war in the first place. Scared the Tory and shitless. Everyone had a good laugh at that. And the boys fought great that night. Sometimes that's all it takes. A joke, a pat on the back. Just a little reminder that everything's gonna be okay. That's funny. <laughs> Your mama jokes. Okay. Um, later on we get to buy uh, decorations and stuff. I'll do it later. Okay, Joker wants to meet at the, um, wants to meet at the sushi place. He wants to go on a date with us, I guess. I don't know. You'd figure, well, it's no wonder why Joker likes sushi beans. He's been hanging out with Edie so much. Oh shit! Shepard's a VIP! Ah, Commander Shepard, your table is ready. Look at that! There's a fish tank on the floor! That's badass! Me too! Excuse me! Hey, Shepard, not bad, huh? The sushi place is serious, like French guy at the door serious. Only had to save the galaxy twice to get a table here. You see the line outside? But here I am, drink in hand. Best pilot in the universe and a rock star. <laughs> Any news from the Normandy? 
Oh, uh, you know, maintenance stuff. It's hard knowing a bunch of strangers are poking around in my ship. I, I mean, your ship. Let someone else do the work for once. Hackett's orders. You're on shore leave. Yeah, whether we like it or not. I'm sure you'll manage. I may need a drink that comes with an umbrella. I'm the first human inspector. I'll get you two umbrellas. Awesome use of power, boss. So, your email said it was important? My email? I'm here because I got a message from you. The hell? I, I didn't send anything. Commander! Excuse me, sorry. Nine's business. Commander, this is urgent! I don't think that's the umbrella lady. Commander Shepard, I'm staff analyst Maya Brooks. Alliance, excuse me. Alliance Intelligence. There are people trying to kill you. And? Yeah, I think he's aware of that. <sighs> no, I don't mean Starburst and the Reapers. I mean other people, new people. They're, it's, <sighs> someone is hacking your account. Com channels, personal records. They're targeting you specifically. Big mistake. Oh man, there's the angry face. From the top, what do you know? Excuse me, you don't have a reservation. Stop! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's performance is brought to you by Random Acts of Violence. Stay there. I'm coming. Joker? Ow, my pancreas. Hey! Damn it. Got one, sir! Find the crew. I'm going after her. Find the crew. Got it. Yeah. Hang on. Boom. Yeah, this pistol is actually pretty good, man. Whoa. Brooks, stay down. Staying down. Ooh. Commander. <clears throat> oh. Brooks. Oh shit! Oh! oh! Shit! Oh shit! Oh! I don't think Shepard wanted to play Plego in that way. <laughs> Think of all the shitter water that is. This pistol is really fucking good. It has a suppressor on it. It Commander, packs a punch. Terminal. Are you okay down there? Uh, yep. Feeling good. Brooks, you got hit. I know. I used Medigel. A lot of it. Um, all of it, actually. I know everything is a little bit bouncy. I think you used too much. So, can I help with anything? Alert CSEC. I'll look for a way out. Warning. CSEC is ordered a lockdown in this area. Temporary travel restrictions apply. Damn, this is kind of scary. 
looking down like that? That's fucking scary, man. Brooks, I see some sky cars across the gap. Maybe a landing pad. I'm checking the area. Transportation, no food, no laundry. Ah, oh, it's a sky car lot. Position motors. Get a shuttle over there. I'll find a way across. Okay, right. So, um, it turns out CSEC has the whole area locked down. It's gonna be a tiny bit tricky to get you a shuttle. Keep at it, Brooks. Also, stay off your calm. Well, except for me. It's hacked. That's probably how they found you. Who are these guys? I don't know. But they really don't seem to like you. Yeah, I'm sensing that. Hey. Security alert. Hey. There we go. I just wasn't in the right spot, apparently. Staff analyst Brooks, yes? That's her. Everybody play nice. Okay, we're just looking for items. We got ammo, but this thing doesn't carry much ammo. That's the only downfall of this thing. Ugh. We blew his head off. We blew his head off. We blew his head off. Ugh, there we go. Shit. You're in trouble. Everybody's heading your way. Good to hear. Things are a little tight. Couldn't have it any other way. Boom. <laughs> Get me some ammo here. As you can see, I'm overpowered for this. I actually am. Power magnifier. We'll take that. We'll take the terminal. Credits. Data pad. Brooks, found a way across. It's locked down. I'll try to override. Damn it. Shepard, what are you doing? I heard that from here. It's all under control. Is it some kind of alarm? What's going on? I thought I'd make things more interesting. Oh. Shepard, Brooks sent me the nav point for the sky car lot. I'll meet you there. Good. What do we know about these mercenaries? They have guns that don't like me. 
That's not helpful. Commander, it would really be great if you could stay off the comm. Hey, they called me. Please, watch your step. I can't believe Shepard got past the walkway. Terminal, data pad. Terminal, data pad. Let's sneak on these guys and see if I can get them. Which I can't. There we go. Commander, there's a C-Sec shuttle inbound if you can get to the Skycar lot. Understood. Okay. Brooks over. No, out. B uh, Brooks out. Oh, over and out. Brooks. Oh, damn it. All right. You can see why I love this DLC. I mean, this gun is just amazing. It, it is. Having a bad day, Shepard? Yep. You could say that. Landing pad is over there, but it's behind a locked gate. Let's look for a control panel. I like your outfit. A uh, control panel, right. I heard you fell through a fish tank. We'll talk about it later. A shame. I quite liked that restaurant. We'll talk about it later. See, this is what I can't stand. They want you to find the gate controls. But they don't give you a clue on where the fuck they are. And I, I just can't stand that shit. They just tell you, fuck you, go find it. And this just does not add to the fucking fun of the game. Stand back. One moment. Hello. Could you please open the gate? Thank you. Please leave. Well, I could have done that. <laughs> like, I think you take one of the cars, don't you? No, you don't. Oh, you gotta be kidding me.
Rex? What are you doing here? Ah, just butting heads with the Council over Krogan expansion. It's not a yes. It's not a no. Commander! Joker, you lost our ride. Where are you? On my way. Picked up Brooks. Figured you'd have a few questions. Good call. <laughs> Yes and no. Mercs in the C-Sec shuttle. What? A little busy right now. Right, sorry. We'll be there soon. Almost there, Commander. Hang on. Great place to fight it. Lots to destroy. Position commander, just following the gunfire. Copy that. Sorry I'm late. Had to take the scenic route. Scenic route? We nearly crashed four times. Where the hell did you learn to drive? And Brooks says hi. Get to the shuttle. I know, but we're looking for the extraction zone. We don't know where it is. There it is. Get over here. Someone want to tell me what's going on here? Who were those mercenaries? They were heavily armed and using C-Sec shuttles. I don't know. I've never seen them before. I can't believe you survived all that. They had guns. And grenades. And those drone things. Brooks, gunfire means something serious is going on. Can you keep it together long enough for us to figure this out? They said the Medigel might make me jumpy. Also, the fact that I work a desk job and have never been shot before. How did you get mixed up in this? I monitored data for Alliance Intel to prevent fraud and hacking of officer IDs. Like, uh, someone using an Admiral's Pass to get into a nightclub on the Citadel when that Admiral is fighting on Tichanka. I wrote a tracking program. It's really neat. I named it Mr. Biscuits, after my cat. Brooks. Right, sorry. Anyway, Mr. Bis- uh, My program detected a breach in your classified files. Soon, everything we had on you was compromised. Personnel files, mission reports, everything. Since when does hacking personnel records involve heavy weapon fire? Think of what criminals could do if they had Shepard's military access codes. Or Spectre codes, even. Explains why they need you dead, Shepard. Nothing to stop them till the damage is done. Okay. Let's figure out who they are and shut them down. Ideas? Maybe. That pistol you picked up. For such a tiny thing, it packs a punch. Never seen anything like it before. Nor have I. Let me see if I can dig something up. Well, you can try. But I should warn you, I haven't found anything yet, and I've been digging pretty deep. I'm sure you have. Glyph. Collating relevant intel for review, Dr. Tassoni. Thanks. All right, the hour is on point. What about the rest of the crew? Yeah, what about those slackers? Joker, you've been busy. I found some folks who actually like being shot at. Permission to come aboard, Shepard. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, later, when this is over and everything is settled, we are gonna talk about this bait thing. 
Back during my pilgrimage, I used to walk around near that sushi place and watch the fish through the window. I knew they'd never let me inside, but I think to myself, someday, when I've proven my worth to the galaxy, I'll go there for dinner. And then, you broke their floor. Do they even have food you can eat there? Not the point, Shepard. <laughs> Glad Liara's on this. If anybody can sift through a mountain of boring stuff to find that one critical clue, it's her. Nothing beats having a Krogan bodyguard, huh? I had a buddy like that once. Uh, no, not so much a buddy, really. More of a prisoner who helped us. <laughs> it's a long story, man. Anyway, Brooke, she's kind of cute. Think she's on the market? Probably. The restaurant attack has made the news. Civilian casualties seem to have been restricted to... fish. Cortez is here. I'm glad you made it out of that ambush okay. None of us saw that coming. But lesson learned. Never have dinner with Joker. It won't end well. True. Okay. Shepard, I've found something. We can gather the team whenever you're ready. We will here in a minute. I want to check everything, make sure... We get everything. I think... Javik? In my cycle, when we fled combat by falling through tanks containing aquatic animals, we usually... Oh, right. We never did. <laughs> you are a trailblazer. You're an ass. Bet you never saw a shuttle get taken down like that before. <laughs> I still got it. You sure do, Rex. You sure do. There he is. So, what was it, Shepard? Five minutes before someone started shooting at you? On the other hand, we get this cool secret hideout to hang out in. Unless the bad guys look in the window. Alright. Now we can talk to Liara. Oh, we missed one. I can talk about Commander Shepard. Big topic. There's been a lot written about the Commander. But most of it isn't true. People are quick to judge. They don't know the whole story. I don't even know the whole story. But I know the man. Worked with him. Fought with him. Trust him with my life. Shepard's had some rough patches. Who of us hasn't? He's been forced to fight a lot of battles alone. God only knows how he got out of some of that. Makes your head spin. Thing is... You never heard a complaint. Never once got, no sir, I can't do that. He never hesitated. Few people know what Shepard's been through. I'd like to think I come pretty close. And I worry sometimes he forgets. There's a whole bunch of people who lose sleep over him getting back home. Maybe it doesn't need to be said. Maybe we're too dumb to say it. Soldiers like the Commander... are rare. Men like Shepard? Even more rare. Okay. I've made some progress. Would you like me to call the meeting? Do it. We have a lead. I called in some favors to run a trace on the gun. It led me to a casino owner named Elijah Khan. He's been suspected of using his profits to smuggle weapons onto the Citadel. Immediately after the attempt on Shepard's life, Khan made an interesting call. I'm cutting you off. I'm returning your down payment now. What's the problem? Turn on a vid screen. When I sell a gun, I don't want it showing up on the nightly news. You won't be linked to me. Save it. Our association is terminated. 
And if you even think of coming after me, I've got info on you ready for prime time. So you ponder that. Khan out. So that's our identity thief. Looks like he's got an ID disguise, sir. Those things are a pain in the ass to get around. Did you get anything on the mercenaries who attacked us? They're a private military corporation called Cat-6. As most of you know, Cat-6 is an Alliance nickname for dishonorable discharges. Many have criminal records, histories of steroid abuse, and other charming features. No doubt hired by the thief, not by Khan. That phone call was pretty damning stuff. How'd you get it? It involved the weapons biometric data, Solarian intelligence, and a Hanar prostitute with camera implants. Seriously? No, but the truth is boring. Whoever that voice was, Khan's nervous enough to cut them loose. We can squeeze Khan until a contact drops out. Easier said than done. He has a panic room inside the casino, a good place to hole up. Edie can give us programs to hack the door, but the cameras and guards complicate things. Yeah. Khan could disappear. Or worse, if his guards ever open fire, normal people could get hit. Like I did. She's right. We can't risk spooking him. We go in quiet. Small team. No gunplay. Dr. Tassoni, this evening the casino will be hosting a charity event to assist war refugees. Purchase some tickets, Glyph. Then call up a layout of the building. Score! So, how close can you get? You don't usually put a back door in a panic room. This air shaft bypasses the security gate and ends up in storage. From there, the panic room's door camera can be disabled. Uh, too convenient. There's gonna be alarms all over that shaft. I believe I have some countermeasures that may help. I'll know more once we're inside. Who will go in this shaft? They need to be small in size. Yeah, that's not me. Too many snacks of roast fair and leg. That? I suspect my suit's built-in tech would be picked up by security sensors. Evie? My presence in the casino would arouse suspicion. Mechs are not allowed, since they can have cheating software. What you need is somebody trained in zero emissions tech. No electronics, no metal, just undetectable polymers. We had a course back at Op End, disabling a bomb with these little tweezers. See, the bomb was filled with shaving cream. All right, you're in. What? No! What? You said it yourself. We've all got too much tech. But... <laughs> I managed to get shot just coming to talk to you. Now I'm supposed to hack my way into a safe room? Yes. That's the plan, Brooks. Get whatever you need and be ready. If that's settled, it looks like there's one last hurdle to get us inside. Which is? Black tie required. Oh shit. We are it is. Keep dressing like that, and you'll have to catch me when I swoon. I might do more than catch you. How are you so calm? Well, you did run under a reaper while it fought a Thresha Maw, so this is no big deal for you. Relax, Brooks. Right. Okay. On it. I'll get to the ventilation shaft. Wish me luck. Liara, you have any input? Khan has a lot of surveillance set up. I'd mingle with the guests if you want to look normal. Okay, Liara. Time to meet the Riff Raff. What do you have? Nothing too crazy. I want to be able to walk a straight line. Cassian Temple coming up. Are Asari drinks usually mild? Not all of them. Mr. Khan had us put out some gelatin shots earlier. Also Asari. They kick like a shotgun.
No, no. Hi, Elspeth Norain. I'm running for Zakara Ward City Council. Are you a citizen here? I've had bad experiences with politicians. Who hasn't? That's why I'm running. I got sick of leaders with ties to terra firma or Cerberus or worse. Oh? The ward needs refugee facilities. It needs security. It needs jobs. It needs everything. And hopefully, with a friend like Elijah Khan backing me, I can make it happen. Commander, I'm upstairs by the grate leading to the shaft. But there's a problem. Can you meet me? Okay, right. Just like we thought. There's an alarm on the grate. We'll have to bypass it. Use this. It's a resonance emitter lens. It should let you see security grids and wiring. Good. I'll follow the wiring to a junction box, splice it, and disable the alarm. You know, I heard you were an engineer. Easy to forget with all the, uh, shooting. The lens is working. Good. Follow the blue wiring. In case it needs to be set. Don't try to bypass a camera while you're being watched. You know, I respect the first guy who put up inside the I see a junction in the wall, but there's a camera watching it. Shepard, I'm sending a hack to your Omni tool. It will fool the camera, but it'll self-delete after a few seconds. Got it. Place is in. Good. I've got the grate open, and in we go. Act casual. This could take a while. Drinks are comp evening. What's popular tonight? Well, some adventurous souls are trying to mind fish. It's what Hanar like to do instead of alcohol. Huh. I guess since they're mostly water, the dehydration would be bad. Right. So there's this fish with hallucinogenic skin oil. Gets Hennar buzzed right up. What happens if humans eat it? Way more potent, and it releases into our system slowly. Best to clear your schedule for the entire weekend. No shit! Hanar do fish for drugs! Commander Shepard. Diala! Or Shaira. My idea of a long time is different than yours, Commander. What can I say? I put a lot of living into the last few years. Indeed. Do you have any advice for me this time? When? When? <laughs> What? There's a guard right below me. Don't panic. I'll get his attention. Okay, get a guard distracted. Excuse me, I think I saw someone doing drugs in the men's room. I see. Were you able to identify the substance used? Red sand. Dispatch, we've got a sand tripper in the bathrooms. 
if they tried to compromise the games biotically. Unknown at this time. Moving to confront. Send backup. We're taking care of it, sir. Appreciate the help. You have a good night now. You're clear, Brooks. Shh. Thanks, Commander. I'll see if I can get to the panic room. And I'll get back to blending in. Slow and steady. We'll get to come. So, to sum up, tomorrow starts with the Help a Dream Foundation, then it's Blood Drive, Refugee Camp, and Hospital Tour. Hmm. Sounds like you turned pro. I try. Ms. Rios believes we have an obligation to the less fortunate. Of course. So how are you liking the party so far? There's a party? What's your connection to Khan, exactly? He's a campaign contributor. Uh-huh. You may want to do a background check on him. He's dirty? Like you can't imagine. Oh, not again. It's for a good cause. For every thousand... Why, hello, love. Isn't the turnout amazing? I wasn't sure anyone would show up. We pull together when we have to. I feel so bad for the humans. If you need a place to stay or anything, you just let me know. I have a place to stay now, but thanks. So you had nothing before that? Oh, how brave of you to endure, dear. The humans are so resilient. Like that phrase of theirs, stiff one in the lips. Stiff upper lip. Right, of course. What did I say? Now watch this. I'm gonna... The camera saw me. <clears throat> okay. No problem. M maybe if you mingle and look casual? Um... Talk to me, Brooks. I've got a pressure pad and an obstruction detector ahead. I can't disable Separate them from mingle. here. Okay. Edie, I need a tech solution. Brooks, stay put. We'll find some junctions and take down the sensors. Okay. Follow the red wiring. Shepard, mingle. Who I'm trying? There we go. I'll call you back. Potential client here. Enjoying the party? Like adrenaline in my heart. They're gonna have a fire breather on the bar later and shoot fireworks above the ward. Would fireworks even burn in a vacuum? It worked at New Year's. Whatever they did, it looked freaking nuclear. Follow the red wiring. So, where is the red wiring? There's the red wiring. Any luck on those senses, Commander? I'm just hanging out. Working on it. There's a junction by the roulette wheels, but it's in plain view of two guards. But you can do something, right? Because my legs are maybe sort of starting to fall asleep a little. Hang in there. We've got this. I saw a pickpocket working the crowd upstairs. Just a second, ma'am. I'll contact the surveillance. I think I did it. Testing the obstruction detector. I think we're okay. Follow the red wiring. Well, that goes to yellow. I'm at a junction. There's a camera and a guard. I'll just be here. Try not to cough. I can distract him. Tell me when. I bring green. There, we got it. I'm in the storage room, great. Time to hit the lock. Be careful, Brooks. Brooks? Oh, Senator. Hey, Commander. What? What yeah. happened? Infrared laser hooked up to a silent alarm. I didn't get it in time. Shepard, I'll call the responding guard to say it was a false alarm. But you must stall him before he reaches Brooks. 
Attention, bets are locked. Attention, all bets are locked. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Hey! Just calm down. I'm trying to do three different things here. Barrels? Sir, we checked out the alarm in storage. It's nothing. Minor accident. Find out who tripped it and get them in my office by end of shift. Now you. What'd you need? I'm sorry, are you with security? I thought you were a friend of mine. You've got the same suit. You... Enjoy your evening. You're clear, Brooks. Thanks, Commander. I'll see if I can get to the panic room. I love roulette. Every minute is more exciting than the next. Should I point out the flaw in that statement? Oh, are you like one of those detail people? Come on, even diamonds have flaws, but that doesn't make them less valuable. Miss, where exactly mm -hmm. were you educated? Online. You can take these courses and it teaches you responsibility because you do the grading. Uh. So are you Khan's lawyer? I represented the casino once. Brutality suit. What's Khan like? Intense. Scares the hell out of his staff. But every now and then, he does some charity, like this. Does that make up for it? If what I hear about him is true, not remotely. I'm sorry if this gets boring. I mean, I... Rios. I feel like I should know that name. I did a little acting. Then in the 70s during the Blitz, I was named Goodwill Ambassador for Refugees. So I guess this kind of thing doesn't really impress you? Me? No. For the people who can get clothes because you bought a ticket? Much different story. bypass the camera back there? Well, I got my side. Yours is still on, though. We need to finish this before someone comes by. Hang tight. I'll get to you. Follow the yellow wiring. Follow the yellow brick road. I can't get the security gate to open from here. The junction must be on your side. It might be tricky. Just so you know. Have a little faith. You look hungry. They have that grown swordfish in the restaurant. Shall I save you a bite? I wouldn't turn that down. Hey, who told you I like that fish? You have a good night now. <laughs> Khan, you and me are going to have a talk. What the hell? I see this conversation will be strictly one-sided. Oh, shit. Commander, there's a deletion order on the terminal. Damn it. Everything's been wiped. I don't know if it was him or the killer or... <gasps> when I tripped that alarm, did I screw this up? What are you looking for? Mistakes. Thought so. Whoever it was had to do this fast. They wiped the terminal, but not the comm. Oh, so we can take the comm back to the safe house to scan it, or... Elijah, come crawling back. Guess again. You. I see you've recovered from flopping on the floor like a fish. Name a time and a place. Or you could hide behind voice disguisers for the rest of your life. You're trying to rattle me, so I slip up. You have nothing. All you can do is wait for the hammer to fall. Bring a bigger hammer. 
Your last try was inadequate. I'm gonna take everything you have, and everything you are. Damn it! <sighs> Sorry, Commander. There wasn't enough time to trace the call. We're not finished. Pull out the data drives. The ones that got wiped? You think we can find something? With Edie, anything's possible. The sooner we get them to her, the sooner we can track down this threat. Yeah, this is a long one. But it's fun once you get past this boring part. <laughs> Thank you, Shepard. That was fun. Well, not so much for the host. It wasn't a total loss. Brooks, work with Edie to see if there's anything useful on those drives. Here's hoping. I'll let you know what we find, Commander. <laughs> Damn, Commander. You can't even attend a party without someone ending up dead. Now, if I can just find some chow around here, you'd think a pad like this would be stocked. Yeah, you would think. I could go for some food while we wait. Too bad you shot the hell out of the best sushi place in the Citadel, huh? I look pretty damn good in a fancy dress, Commander. I'm gonna need an occasion to wear it. I'll see what I can do. I hope Brooks and Edie can find something on the drive. Same here. A glamorous mission, but not our most successful. The next time we have a date, perhaps we should just stay in. Greetings, Commander. The casino will be... Cliff probably had nothing important to say anyway. Any life or death encounters with fish aquariums this time? No? Mm, too bad. I can hear Vega's stomach rumbling from here. What's the matter, Shepard? Didn't want me as your date? <laughs> too much Krogan for you to handle? A lot of people have that problem. Most of them are dead. <laughs> Commander, instead of infiltrating the casino using a disguise, it would have been better to hold all the primitives hostage, threaten them with death, and shoot them until they gave you what you wanted. Next time, I will gladly assist. Okay, that should be everyone. Up for Cortez. Got I believe he's over here. Yes, he is. Like the mission ended with a hiccup. Well, I'm just glad our team made it back okay. I am glad to see my physical proximity was not necessary to the success of the mission, Shepard. Let's see what you find before we call it a win. Commander, Edie and I have been analyzing those drives. I think we found something if you're ready. Let's hear it. Though the data's root structure was erased, the logic integrity remains viable. Edie has an incredible talent for this stuff. I know she's an AI, but even still. We found an encrypted communication from a few days ago. Just need another minute to crack it. A whole minute? Edie here could shave that down to five seconds. I thought it best to allow staff analyst Brooks a chance to improve her decryption skills. And now you've lost your chance to show off. Like she needs it. You're the crew of the Normandy. You're legends to the rest of the Alliance. Legends can be good or bad. Which are we? You're the kind that people look up to. The kind they owe their lives to. How come everyone's always shooting at us? I think it's mostly you, Rex. The bigger the target, the bigger the... uh... target. You're saying I've gained weight? It just means there's more of the legend to love. And the camaraderie, the friendship? I think that's your secret weapon. It's all just part of the job. Wait. Job? You mean the rest of you are getting paid for this? <laughs> Here we go. Wow. 
Those marks who were after you, they bought a lot of weapons. Like, big ones. Max? What do they need that kind of firepower for? It appears this drone is preparing to rebel. I have just monitored the Commander's Spectre access code in use at the Citadel Archives. Punch it up. The Archives are going into emergency lockdown. Where's hacking your records is there right now? What do we know about the place? Council keeps sensitive historical information there. Real hush-hush. Even my old CSEC clearance never got me in. Then we'll find our own way in. Gear up and let's... What's with the Volus? Oh, pizza delivery guy. I got the munchies. <laughs> Double pepperoni. These archives are huge. You'll have a lot of ground to cover. Shame you can't bring everyone. Who says we can't? All hands on deck for this one. Hell yeah, but uh, who gets to take point with you? Ahem. 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 Who's going to pay the bill? Okay. We're gonna bring Rex. He gives us shields. And we're gonna bring Liara. We're gonna OG this. So Rex, we're gonna have to work with Do okay. We want to get your warp ammo done, which we can't right now. Um, broken battle master. We'll do you power squad bonus. Okay. We'll do barrier. Do shield recharge. And power recharge. There we go. Stimulant pack. Do damage. Duration. And survival. There we go. Lift grenades. Radius. Duration. And that's it. Correct. What's the best way into the archive? The facility is located. Shit, I forgot to play around with handgun, didn't I? God damn it. I like it. Sounds like you're learning the ropes. Hell. Hang out with us long enough and you'll learn ropes, knives, bombs, thresher maws. Don't hang out too long. Pretty soon you'll be making friends with Asari. I heard that. The archives are somewhere below us. It could be pretty tricky to get in there. Not really. Krogan first! See you at the party, princesses! Again. Airborne! Scatter and take cover! In the old days, we had to leave five minutes before a mission went south. 
And he fucked with my gun too. God damn it. This is what I get for not looking. You okay? Enough! Drop your weapon, so this won't end well for her. You bastard! All right. Uh, uh. Whatever you think you're getting away with, there's nowhere you can run, nowhere you can hide, where we can't find you. Hide? Why? I'm Commander Shepard. I never hunt. Uh huh. So that's how it's gonna be. Who are you? You weren't the only Shepard that Cerberus brought back to life. But at least one of us will finally do something with it. Where did you come from? The same DNA as you. A clone. Cerberus spared no expense resurrecting you. With me? I was created for spare parts, in case you needed another arm, or a heart, or a lung. Where have you been this whole time? In a coma. Until I woke up six months ago. While you were in a jail cell on Earth, I was learning to be human. Amazing what a person can do with enough neural implants. I don't care who you claim to be. The role of Commander Shepard's already filled. By the wrong man. It's time the understudy had his day. Did the elusive man send you? No. He abandoned me when he had what he wanted. You. Then why are you trying to kill us? Because I don't have his memories. I'd never fool my supposed friends. The ones who abandoned their duty to join the cult of Shepard. Like you, Dr. Tassoni. You're nothing more than a college cheerleader pretending to be a soldier. And you're just a pale imitation of the real thing. I'm the real thing perfected. I'm you without the wear and tear, Shepard. The doubts, failures. I'm the lone wolf you were always meant to be. Without the emotional baggage holding me back. No one will ever believe you're Shepard. They will when I'm flying his ship. This is Shepard. Initiate Normandy lockdown. Transmitted command codes now. Good idea. Too bad the signal was blocked. Trainer, this is Shepard. Prep the Normandy for emergency departure. We're leaving. I'm setting the command codes now. Acknowledged. We'll get underway. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm looking forward to killing myself. I guess ominous threats of violence run in our DNA. But mine is more than a threat. Execute them. The Cult of Shepard ends today. Still got everyone? Where's everyone else? On high ground with a sniper rifle. Doesn't get any better than this. Where do you think you're going? I have a little party up here. Let's call it. These are the only ones who are small. Terminating hostile. Take heavy ass kicking pants. Remember, you left with me. That's how I do it. Other you go. He's pushing into the archives. Stay in your groups. Team Mako, you're on point. Right. What's a Mako? Something we could use right about now. Right. Hammerhead, cover the flank. Got it. And the Mako's got nothing on the hammerhead. Welcome to the Citadel Archives. Yeah, that's true. 
there, Steve. At this point, anything's possible. Like waking up and finding out you have a clone? I don't want to talk about it. Of course. At least not till we've all had a drink. Are I'm just clone? looking for stuff is all I'm doing. Glyph. Yes, Commander? Track the target. Give me mm -hmm. updates on its location. What is the nature of the target? He looks mm -hmm. like me. Then I have found the target. No, Glyph. It's another me. Now get going! At once, Commander. Open for a weapon bench, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna get one. That gun and the first contact war, year 2157. Yeah, back when humans and Turians were at each other's throats. Change loadout. We're gonna change this gun. Give me that. Searching for something 200 meters ahead. Got it. Fighting your own clone. Who would have thought? Useful, though. Anything you don't want to do, Shepard? Let them handle it. So, like a personal butler? I don't want to talk about it. Yes. So let your clone do it. Bitch. Executed that bitch. Over here. Now we can circle around him on the tubes. Team Mako, moving ahead. Catch you on the other side. Krogan, kill shot. <laughs> they got him. Got his ass. Okay, so we have to go that way. All right.
Go! I'll cover you! Move! That's cheating! We're on a ladder! This is Shepard! We need... That's why I love hanging out with you guys. Why shoot something once? When you can shoot it 46 more times. Exactly. The other me can't be far. Keep up the pressure and we'll try to surround him. Let's move. But here you're going to learn about stuff about um, the Your council. 57 CE. First contact war. Turian interrogation. Vault T91. Sir, we captured this human in the occupation of Shang-Chi. A human. You're the first I've met. And you're the first bird I've met. He was armed with this weapon, sir. How primitive. Your kind expects to win a war with this. A bullet is a bullet. You have so much to learn. And when we conquer your Earth, I look forward to teaching you. Imagine the history in this place. It must stretch back thousands of years. I just wonder what the other me is looking for in here. Intruders have been detected. Please locate the nearest emergency exit. Year 700 CE. Krogan Rebellions attack on Council, Vault K-306. This is the only visual record of Krogan. Year 700 CE. Krogan Rebellions attack on Council, Vault K-306. This is the only visual record of Krogan Overlord Kredik's attack on the Council. Audio follows. I've heard enough. If the Krogan hadn't taken on the Rachni, you would all be at their mercy. You won't give us what we deserve, and so you force us to take it. We will never leave the planet of Lucia, no matter how much the Asari cry. Ambassador Kredik, you only weaken your case with the show of violence. Wrong, Solarian. Now our case is finally strong. Negotiations are over! Oh. Okay. Go, go, go. Malfunction. Malfunction detected. That had to hurt! Targeting. Ah. All Malfunction detected. Please contact maintenance. Now who did this? We'll draw their fire! I know I saw another one. Nope, it's just Rex. Standing by for your go, sir. Do not terminate us. Go. Damn.
83 CE, Battle of the Citadel, Gith Dreadnought Attack, Vault X-5. In the opening minutes of the attack, you'll see that Zakara Ward is almost completely destroyed. Interrupting. Spectre status recognized. Commander Shepard. The following information is classified. The unknown aggressor is suspected to be a Reaper aided in its attack on the Citadel by rogue Spectre Saren. The Reaper Sovereign is destroyed by the Fifth Fleet. unknown historical events. Where's the target, Glyph? He is searching for a secret vault. He did not wish to be disturbed. What? I thought he was you. <sighs> Go find him again. Sorry, Glyph's not a combat model. Stupid machine. Right? We'll take that. Yeah, there it is. Okay, we go around this way. Boom! It didn't even take as much to kill it either. Commander, a large contingent of soldiers calling themselves Razor Squad is just ahead. They wish to inflict bodily harm on you. Also, I discovered an Elcor mating totem in Vault 347B. Fascinating. Where do you think you're going, princess? Team Mako here, showing Team Hammerhead how it's done. Hammerhead here. You guys are just copying us. Mako here. If we were, we wouldn't be hitting anything. You best be careful what you mess with me. I have a higher body count than all of you combined. Attention, enemy soldiers. Why do you persist in fighting? The Alliance offers a number of benefits and a general... Uncle Ergon has a present for you! Mess up! Oh, it's tougher than that hurt. You only have a point zero four. Nice job. Looks like we're clear. Looks like I saved everyone's ass again. <laughs> Hammerhead and Mako, keep pushing ahead. Right. I might throw up a little bit now if that's okay with everyone. Hold it in till we're done. Commander, the other you wishes to pass on a message. Shepard, save yourself the trouble. Once I have what I came here for, you won't matter anymore. Now go, drone. Deliver it. Your 710 CE, Krogan Genophage. Deployment, Vault T101. We have our orders. Release of the Genophage against the Krogan has been authorized. Not by my government. Your government invented it. What good is a weapon if you don't use it? Sergeant Tavis, restrain him. Are we sure of our orders, sir? This is genocide. Sergeant Hout, restrain them both. 
I'll press the button myself. One day, Solarian, you will thank us. Dispersal commencing. Okay. See, it's cool to watch some of these old things play out, you know? The next person who says that is fired. It appears the other commander has a bad thing. Collateral damage does not concern you. What, they get behind us? Clear. Okay. Whatever. Year 693 CE. First Spectre. Below Gear J recruitment. Vault S1. Below Gear J, you are accused of using 30 civilians as bait to flush out and assassinate your target. I don't survive. Probably. You're being released. The Council wants you to implement a new special tactics and reconnaissance group. Desk job? No, thank you. This is no desk job. Spectres will be the best of the best. They will operate with impunity and answer only to the Council. You will be the first. Now that sounds like the best job offer in the galaxy. Count me in. Well, that's cool learning how the first Spectre came about. A pity these scientists perished. I would like to have discussed the Elcor mating totem with them. Team Hammerhead, we're headed to the next level. What's your location? <laughs> Hammerhead, do you copy? During emergencies, all archival information must... There's Team Mako! We'll try to clear a path, Commander! Hammerhead's gone ahead! Boom! Bitch! Now who's the dead one? Uneventful. Clear. So here's where the Asari discovered the Citadel. The destiny of our people forever altered. These creatures that greet us seem harmless but unable to communicate. Preliminary observations suggest that their role seems to be that of some sort of guardian. We will begin our exploration. We see the clone, Shepard. Make you going in. See, so that's cool seeing the Asari um, explore the. Um, Citadel for the first time. They were the first race to discover it, actually, in this cycle, as Javik calls it, the cycle. Team Mako, we're coming up behind. What's your status? Mako, where are you? You're 2183 CE. First human Spectre deliberations. Vault SH-1. Commander Shepard's recent accomplishments are not in question. It's his background that the Council has no knowledge of. Shepard was born to a career military family, growing up on various Alliance postings until enlisting at the age of 18. Anything from Shepard's military record that you'd like to call out? Early in his career, Shepard alone survived a Thresher Maw attack that took down his entire unit. That's the kind of strength, the kind of grit he has. Thank you for your presentation, and to all who spoke. The Council will render their decision on the suitability of Commander Shepard as Spectre within the day. So the Council was trying to decide if... Commander, do you copy? What's your status? The other you is jamming our radios. Hammerhead and Mako are trying to get ahead and cut him off. But I've been hit and need help. Please, hurry. So the council was deliberating whether Shepard was Spectre material or not. That can't be good. Brooks, the vault sealed us in. Is there an override? 
None that I can see. Cortez? Brooks? Do you read me? Is anyone on this frequency? The short answer is no. They're not. The longer answer involves your friends trapped in Iridium vaults and forgotten for... well... forever. Others know about this. About you. The Alliance will stop you. What do you think, Staff Analyst Brooks? Will the Alliance stop us? I wouldn't know. I don't actually work for them. The minute. The second I get out of here, I'm gonna take your head and mount it in the Normandy CIC. Then I'm gonna mount his head next to yours. Then I'm gonna take both of your heads and space them out the airlock. I'll help. That sounds very dramatic. And if someone like, say, Commander Shepard made the threat, I'd be worried. But you're not Shepard. Not anymore. You had Miranda. I have her. Mine has more bite. It was fun while it lasted. What are you doing? Setting things right. Remember this? You were the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Except somewhere along the way you forgot about your entire species. You've saved more alien lives than you have human. I don't care what species they are. Every life counts. But maybe a clone wouldn't understand that. <laughs> you know the one thing they can't duplicate? Our handprint. Life gives it its shape, not DNA. Which is a problem. Computer, update council records. Subject, Shepard. Human Spectre. Accessing record. Please input new data. Biometric identifier updated. Good day, Commander Shepard. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Normandy needs its captain. So... I should go. Oh, shit! Farewell, Commander. I guess this is where legends go to die. <laughs> Refresh my memory. Didn't we used to win these things back in the old days? He said, I should go. Do I sound like that? As long as I've known you, yeah. Maybe we should be worrying about the impregnable vault we've been sealed inside forever. I'm more confident than he is. More in control. With me, it's more like, that's all for now. Spoken like a Krogan. Show him who's boss. I doubt there's enough air in here either. An hour at most. Or sometimes, I'll talk to you later. Because you know what? I never do. Leave him wanting more. Shepard, why aren't you more worried about this? Hmm? Oh. Glyph, you still out there? Yes, Commander. Unlock this damn thing and go find the others. No one steals my ship. Not even me. Oh. I've got room for Shepard plus two, and figured out fast because the other Shepard is stealing my ship. Okay. Rex, Liara, OG it. Yes, we need military and um, biotic. What? I was hoping to go. I know what you mean. I never seem to get picked. Joker will come back for you. I promise. 
You go get picked plenty of times, damn it. Okay, now I'm gonna work on this pistol. I lose a little bit of weight, so power recharge speed, but that's okay. There we go. So I put the cranial, um, this is why head I trauma thing you on. Where you parked the ship for five minutes. Can you contact Citadel Flight Control and get them to deny the departure request? Tried all the comm lines in the area are jammed, probably to make it easier for them to steal my ship. We'll stop them. What happens if we lose the Normandy? Couldn't we go to the Council and prove who you are? No. He changed the logs to make his biometrics the official ones. We can't prove anything. Yes, that. Can we all just agree that it'd be easier to not let Shepard's evil clones steal the Normandy? One way or another, we're taking this bastard down. Damn right. You go kill the crap out of you. You. Okay, Citadel systems are targeting the car. Any closer and they open fire. Get back and pick up the others, ASAP. Right, they can't have gotten far, unless they called a cab or something. Okay. There we got him. Bastard. Enough of this bastard. There we go. We need to hurry. They're getting ready to take off. When we want to take off, there's a half hour of pre flight checks. They just gun the engine and go? Your engineers keep the Normandy in fine condition. Most of the checks are unnecessary. Thanks for letting me know. Send a warning to the Normandy. We can't. Tunnels are jammed, remember? Damn it. And I don't even... Wait. What? You were just on the Normandy, you... You fired me! Dishonorable discharge for conduct unbecoming! You kicked me off the ship with barely enough time to grab my toothbrush. I can't fire you without a disciplinary hearing, trainer. And really, the first thing you grab is your toothbrush? It's a Scission Pro Mark IV. It uses Mass Effect fields to break up plaque. And someone just threw me off the ship! If it... Wasn't you? Shepard's got a clone. Makes sense when you think about it. I can explain more later. For now, it's sealed. The Normandy's about to take off. Is there anyone still aboard who can help us? No. I was only there because I helped with the Normandy retrofits back on Earth. Everyone else is on shore leave. Okay. You know this ship inside and out. 
Can you get me inside? There's an emergency exit hatch for evacuations. It should be right here. Manual lock. And it's only meant to be open from the other side. Any ideas? I could try a biotic field, but I don't think I have the fine control required to trigger it. <clears throat> if you told me this morning that a toothbrush was gonna save the Normandy, I'd have been very skeptical. Right? standing right in front of you. Are we clear? It's better this way. Wouldn't you rather take him down yourself? Armory. Find him. Slow him down. Pretty sure we broke Trainer's toothbrush getting the hatch open. Remind me to reimburse her for that. All right, Shepard. Later. Remind me later. A little cramped in here. Quiet. Can't risk them hearing us up top. Yeah, yeah. Get off my tail. All right, get a patrol going. Find Shepard. The real one. Hey, what do you mean by slow down? We're allowed to kill Shepard if we have to, right? He said slow him down because he thinks we're cannon fodder. Oh, well, shit. Watch out, they're here in the sea. <laughs> I always wanted to do this. You always wanted to have a firefight on the CIC of my ship? And it isn't even my first day. Edie, this is the real Shepard. I need you to lock down the Normandy. Can you help us out? Edie, do you copy? They must have taken her offline. Let's get to the cargo bay. This is from my cabin. He's moving He's stuff out of my cabin. Oh, now it's personal. Oh, it totally is personal now, damn it. You ready? Absolutely. No worrying. No emotional concerns. You've grown up to Sony. Killing people gets less troubling after the first few hundred. It does indeed. Creepy. You want to stop shooting up my ship? It's not your ship. It will be. I've taken your name, your Spectre rank, even your fingerprints. And then you left me to die. Only I didn't. You think fake fingerprints are gonna fool the Council? Or hack it? How's that big plan looking now? Hatchet squad to the shuttle bay.
Look over here. You cut through the jamming? All affirmative. Got a bit hot, but their jamming tech is down. I'm occupied in the shuttle bay. Roger that, Commander. We'll proceed with Plan B. Plan B? The hell is Plan B? Got his ass. Again with the pancreas. I'm overriding the Skycar's safeties, Commander. I'll obstruct Mormonty's path, try to get their attention. For bait? Plan B stands for bait. That makes us a perfect target. No, that makes us the bait. Do you want me to drive? No. Damn it. Launch the shuttle and blow that thing out of the sky. Makes you so damn special. Why you and not me? Hang on! We've got you. <sighs> Thanks. What about this pie jack? You, get off my ship. Fortunately, they weren't here long enough to do much real damage. Although I may need some help from James cleaning up the damage to the shuttle bay. Plus, they overloaded the heat diffusion system firing at us. Not sure if you noticed, but Shuttle Guy here did some crazy stunt flying to keep us in one piece. That's nice to fly something a little more maneuverable than the Kodiak. What about E? Is she back online? I am once again fully in control of the Normandy. Glad to hear it. What about the Mercs? Any survivors? Just one crappy-ass pilot and her. Alliance has taken her to a high-security facility. Maybe she can give him some dirt on Cerberus. I'll be more than happy to cooperate with the authorities. Really? I 
until you escape. Me? Escape? But I'm not a field agent. Sorry about that. Just stop. You betrayed me and the Alliance in the middle of a war. I was young and naive. Admit it, Commander. You'll miss me. Not at this range, I won't. Uh, maintenance to the shuttle bay? The rest of the squad's waiting outside. We'll have the Normandy back in shape in no time. Relaxing. <laughs> Come on. Maybe we can take some actual time. No explosions or anything. Just us. Don't know about those. All right. So. But just us sounds perfect. So the short leave will be the next video because this is getting too long here. It's already been over two hours. So sorry about all that sound effects. I was trying to get my controller on the charge cable, but for some reason it wouldn't respond. So. I had to put it back on wireless mode. I'll charge it after I save here, so. So, after a hard day spent fighting an evil clone, you know what comes next. A nap? Please, we party down. Well, I gotta get going. Thanks to settle up before I head back to Tuchanka. Always fires to put out when you're in charge, right? Let me know if you want to hang out or if you're having that party. See ya! Party, huh? Well, no pressure. No one's gonna make you throw a party. Alright. Good idea. Let's set it up. I've channeled discretionary funds into your account for the purchase of any celebratory supplies, Commander. Okay. Edie and Cortez and Trainer are in. What? I have also informed Dr. Tassoni about any potential upcoming celebrations. Wait, wait, I'm in charge of the guest list. Yeah, so there's no uninvite button on this thing? Alright, but when it's time, I invite the rest. Cortez just invited James. So... Fine. I'm gonna go out and see how much trouble I can get into without snapping a femur. Members of your crew have expressed interest in spending time with you, Commander. You can check your private terminal for messages. If you require activities, Silver Sun Strip has an arcade in addition to the casino. You have also been granted a complimentary pass to the combat simulator. Thanks, Cliff. Guess I should take advantage of some shore leave myself. Okay, so I'm saving. Like I said, the party will be in the next episode. So, hope you all had fun in this episode. I actually did. And I will see you all in the next episode.